what are size classes and how do we use them as iOS developers in Swift UI? To put it simply, size classes allow us to determine what kind of device we're on, you know, iPad versus iPhone, and things like orientation, right, landscape or portrait. And once we know, you know, where we're at, like iPad or iPhone and landscape, we can adjust our UI accordingly, right? Because a tall, skinny portrait iPhone is gonna look a lot different than an iPad in landscape, or even just on the iPhone, right? iPhone portrait versus iPhone landscape. You might wanna adjust your UI based on that as well, and that's what size classes allow us to do. Essentially, there's only two size classes, compact and regular. Now that can be applied to the width and the height of the device. For example, an iPhone in portrait is compact width, but regular height. Whereas an iPad in portrait or landscape is regular width, regular height. And then an iPhone in landscape is compact height and compact width with one little caveat, right? Those big fat phones, right? The maxes and the pluses. Because there's so much screen real estate, those are actually compact height, but regular width. So that's one little caveat that you gotta look out for. And this allows those big phones uh, with regular width to have things like split view like you see here. So be careful with that one. Don't make the assumption that all iPhones are compact width, compact height when they're in landscape. Again, all of them are, except for the big fat Max and Plus phones. Now, how do you know what device is what size class? Well, that's where we turn to the human interface guidelines or the HIG as you can see on my screen here, right? Device size classes. And of course, link to this will be in the description. See this nice little diagram that I've been using? Uh, but here you have every device here, right? And then you can see their portrait orientation, like regular width, regular height. As you can see, all the iPads are regular, regular. But down here, like I said, the iPhone 13 Pro Max in portrait is compact width, regular height. We talked about that. But here in landscape, it's regular width, compact height. Whereas like the iPhone 13 Pro, compact width, compact height. So that's the difference I was telling you about. But here's all the devices, uh, and you can see what size class each device is. That way you can do the research for your UI and act accordingly once you know what size class you're dealing with. Another consideration if you're working with iPad, right, is size classes come into play in split view, right? You see the two-thirds split view, one-half split view, one-third split view. And this one-third split view is the tricky one because that essentially turns your app into like the iPhone version. I, I mean, I shouldn't call it the iPhone version. Technically, we should be using the size classes, right? It turns it into the regular height, compact width, size class. And then here you can see again, the different iPads with their different split views and their different size classes, right? So again, all the size class information you need is here in the human interface guidelines. So now let's jump into some code and show you how to access what size class you're currently in so you can adjust your UI accordingly. Here we are in a brand new Swift UI Xcode project. All I've done to it is just added font, large title bold, just so you can see the words easier. Other than that, brand new Swift UI project. So how do we know what size class we're currently in? Well, in Swift UI, size class is an environment variable. So here in our content view, we can do at environment slash dot uh, vertical size class, and then var, we'll call it vertical size class. This is just the name of the variable. If you wanted to name it something different, you can. So that's how we can get access to the vertical size class. You'll see that in action in a second. But what about the horizontal one? Well, as you can imagine, pretty similar, right? So at environment, slash dot uh, horizontal size, there's the autocomplete size class var, horizontal size class. So now that we have access to this, these variables, this is how we know where we're at. And again, back to this diagram, you'll know if you're on an iPad, you'll know if you're on an iPhone in portrait or an iPhone in landscape. So admittedly, the example I'm gonna show you is very simple, but the key learnings here is knowing how to access this because once you know where you're at, well then you can build whatever UI you want, right? This tutorial is not about teaching you how to build that UI. It's showing you basically how to get the information. So we'll keep something simple here. I'll show you two examples, right? So this hello world text will change if we're in landscape. Well, how do we know we're in landscape on an iPhone? Well, if I go back to Safari here, again, our diagram here, you'll notice every single iPhone, and I mentioned this before, in landscape has a compact height. So we know if our vertical size class is compact, well, we're on an iPhone in landscape because it's the only time that ever happens. Now that we have access to this vertical size class, we want to check to see if it's compact. So we can use a ternary uh, operator here, vertical size class equals equals dot, and you can see you get compact, regular, none. So we want to make sure it's compact. And if that is true, we don't want to say hello world. We want to say I'm landscape. If that is false, we'll say I'm portrait. 
Now let's also change the color just to, to really show you. So we can do dot foreground color. And then again, the same ternary operator here, vertical class is uh, compact. And I'll refactor this out in a second just to show you how you can make it cleaner. But let's write this first. So if it is compact, we'll make the words dot red else dot blue. Now that I have that typed out, let me refactor it real quick. This is what I normally do in my project just to clean up the code. So I would do var is landscape and that is a bool. And then it's gonna be a computed property and it's basically just, you know, this vertical size class equals equals compact. So you have that there. And then I would just do is landscape. There you go. And I know there's an easier, quicker way to refactor, but whatever. Okay. so. Now it's just is landscape, I'm landscape, I'm portrait. Of course, real quick, if you're working with iPad and iPhone on iOS, you probably have to designate that as like is iPhone landscape, just to be sure. Anyway, we're just gonna pretend this is an iPhone only app. And then just code style, I don't know, these little one-liners, I like to put like that, just to make my code nice, neat, and compact. Purely subjective, purely stylistic, if you hate that, Keep it the other way, no big deal. So quick review before we run, right? The environment variables will let us know what size classes we're in, both vertical and horizontal. Now that you have that information, you can use conditionals to act accordingly with your UI, right? Here we're using a ternary operator, but you could easily do like, if is landscape and have a whole view structure, else, and a whole nother view structure for when you're not landscape, right? So there's a couple different ways you can do this. We're using ternary operators here because it's uh, simple just changing our text and changing our foreground color based on landscape. So when I run this, I should expect when I'm in landscape to be red and it say I'm in landscape. When it's in portrait, I should expect the words to be blue and it to say I'm portrait. There you go, I'm portrait. Now we'll rotate here on the simulator. I'm landscape and it turned to red. So as you can see, your UI is adapting whether you're in portrait or landscape. If you enjoy my teaching style, I create my own iOS developer courses where we go a lot deeper. You can check it out at seanallen.teachable.com. See you in the next video.